In this video, we're going to walk you through the process of how we close down an above ground pool. Now this video is going to be more for the southern states that are going to have warmer winters. This is how we do it. But at the end of the video, we're going to show you the additional things you need to do if you're going to have a colder, harsher winter. So the first thing you want to do before you even start closing it is remove all your floats and toys, give the pool a good vacuum, and then you're going to want to shock the pool with powder chlorine and run the pump for 24 hours. The point of this is whether you're using chlorine as a sanitizer or salt, you're going to want to get your chlorine level up pretty high because this is all the chlorine that's going to be in the pool all winter long. And then you want to run your pump for a good 24 hours, let it get circulated. Then you want to remove any ladders that you have in the pool. Now, some of you may have the big step system. This thing's really hard to get out of the pool. So what we normally do is just unscrew the steps from the deck and just tip the steps into the pool itself. That way the handrail is not in the way when you're trying to put your cover on and when you open it in the spring, you can just lift them back up and you're ready to go. So when you're ready to close it, you want to turn your pump off. You want to disconnect your salt cell. Then you want to unplug the power to the salt system. And at the bottom of your salt system, your pump is going to be plugged in. You want to go ahead and unplug your pump from your salt system. Now you want to get your cover out. You're going to have the cover itself. You're going to have a winch to tighten the cable down. And you're going to have the cable itself. So now we just want to open up the cover and get it ready to go ahead and put it on top of the pool. Now covers are different colors. Nine times out of ten, the black side is what's going to go down. So the way we do this is we want to kind of find roughly the center of the cover. We're going to pull it tight and then that way we can just lift it up over top of the pool and then once we do, we just start unrolling the cover and cover the rest of the pool up. Now, one thing you want to try to do as you're doing this is you want to try to even up the cover around the pool as best as you can. Um, this way, it'll just be a little, look a little cleaner. You know, these covers are going to overlap the pool potentially two, three feet. Uh, and it just makes it look a little bit cleaner to walk around and even it up. Then we're going to take our cable and we're going to run it in and out through the grommets of the pool. Now you're going to have two grommets that are close together and then two grommets and that are there. Then the next set of grommets are going to be further away. You want the cable on the outside of the furthest space between the grommets. And you'll see here in a minute, but this is going to help kind of tighten the cover up and keep the wind from flapping it all around during the winter time. Now before you tighten the cover down you want to get your plugs out. This is a gizmo which is going to be your winter plug for your skimmer and then you also have a one and a half inch return plug that's going to plug off your return. So before we tighten our cover down we're going to kind of flip our cover back for a minute so we can get to our return, we're going to unscrew the eyeball, make sure the whole assembly comes out, and then we're going to screw our return plug into the return port. And you see we've got an O-ring on this thing to keep water from leaking. Make that nice and tight, you don't want water seeping through it through the winter. Then we're going to take our gizmo, and in the port at the bottom of the skimmer, we're going to screw this gizmo in. Now the point of the gizmo is once this water freezes in the winter, it's going to squeeze on that gizmo instead of uh, expanding and breaking your skimmer. That's why it's a special plug for your skimmer. Now we're going to tighten our cover down. We're going to slide 
each end of the cable through the winch on each side and then there's a hole in the center shaft that you're just going to pull those cables through and once you get this you want to kind of pull all the excess out of your cables get it roughly tight and then we're going to turn our winch and tighten our winch down which is going to basically secure the cable underneath the top seats of the pool now before we get it too tight we want to run around the pool and get the cable on the outside of our long sections of the cover this is just going to tuck the cover in a little bit and keep the wind from flapping it around and uh, you know then you're not listening to this thing all winter long when the winds blowing now once you're done doing this you just want to really tighten that cable down as good as you can get it you don't want to tighten it so much that you're going to end up breaking your winch but you want it pretty nice and tight now we're going to disconnect our salt cell I normally do the bottom collar first because water is going to pour out I don't want to get soaked and then you do the top collar and we're just going to pull that return or pull that uh, salt cell right out of there now you have an o-ring on the bottom and the top of where your salt cell was connected and we always take these out because people tend to lose these things uh, you know sitting there six months through the winter and we don't want to lose these they're a bit of a specialty o-ring and they're a pain in the neck to get a hold of now what we're going to do on our pump is if you have any dirt in the basket go ahead and clean that out real good because we really like to keep all our small things in this basket through the winter so we don't lose them now the first thing you'll do is on the bottom of your pump you're going to have a drain port it's going to be a little nut that you're going to unscrew which is going to drain all the water out of your pump some of them are in the front it depends on what pump you have some of them are on the side but they all look the same now once y'all screw this it's going to drain out the pump we want to keep that open in case moisture gets in there make sure your o-ring is on your nut and then we're just going to put all our small pieces inside this basket so that we don't lose them throughout the winter time on your shutoff valves this is the closed position this is the open position we want to leave those open during the winter this will allow any moisture or condensation that builds up through the winter to work its way through your drain now on your sand filter you have a drain cap as well we're going to take this off and same thing we're going to put this inside the pump basket just to hold on to it through the winter now on the top of your filter you're going to have a winter rise setting it's going to say winter on it you want to turn your handle to that and we're going to leave it there all winter long now normally with your pump cord that we unplug from the salt system we like to kind of wrap this up on the piping or just get it out of the dirt this way you're not hitting it with the weed eater the dogs not chewing on it. it's not getting dirty just try to keep it clean we've got all of our things that we've disconnected from the pool we've got them in our pump basket and it's going to sit there all winter now we want to take our salt system off we're actually going to take this inside frankly the thing's too expensive to leave it outside and have any problems with it so we want to keep it safe so we're going to take any of our salt cell our salt box any accessories we have laying out we're going to put that inside or in a shed and keep it safe now this particular customer has an automatic pool cover pump one thing that you will have to do and the only thing you'll have to do through the winter is it's going to rain and that rain's going to sit on top of the cover and from time to time you're going to have to pump that water off the cover with the automatic cover pump you're just going to have to leave that thing on it's going to cut on pump the water off and it's just one less thing you have to deal with 
Um, you can get them $30, $40 on Amazon. I've seen them as high as $50, $60, but it's just a nice little investment. Then you just don't have to work as hard during the winter. And here we are. I wanted to show you how we've got the cover tucked behind that cable to keep it as tight as we can. You're all closed up at this point, and now we just wait for spring to start swimming again. Now, the two things I would add to this video if you are in colder, harsher winter climates, number one, make sure you use an air pillow underneath your cover. This is going to keep the water from freezing all the way across the pool. It's going to keep the expansion of the frozen water from pushing on your metal walls and causing serious damage to the pool. Number two, I would recommend that you take as much of your equipment inside as you possibly can. Your pump, your filter, whether you're using an ozone generator, um, ionizer, you know, just like we do with the salt system. Take this stuff inside somewhere where it's not going to freeze so you're certain that you're not going to have issues with it over the winter. Aside of that, you can follow everything else on the video.